down. Just tell us what you make of that, first of all. Um, I'll take the blame. I picked a technical team. We start the game on the front foot, score a very good goal, and weak at set pieces. Weak. That's what cost us the game. Three set pieces. Didn't cause any problems other than set pieces, so orchestrates, orchestrates of our own downfall. It's not that the players hadn't been warned about it. We scored eight from 13 from set players in the last goals. It's not like we haven't worked on it, but you have to do the fine arts of the game, the basics of the game right. We didn't do that, so I take responsibility. Should have put more height in the team, so I'll take that one on the chin. You, re you regret your team selection? Then? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I do because for me, is is uh, we win the game if we can defend set pieces, second phases, and we couldn't do that. Simple as. So with that. You know, with your, your Butterworths, your politics, your, your Sammy Robinsons in the team, you, you lose some inches at height and we got punished for it, so yeah, I take the blame for that. You made it clear about what you impressed on the players a couple of weeks ago. What have you impressed on them today? Well, you, you know, for, for me, is, is these players, is a, is a big learning curve for players, and you know, certainly our younger players. The players haven't played their amount of men's football as they should have done. Is that you can look as good as nice as you can on the ball, but if you don't do the basics of the game and defend set places, set pieces right from second, third phases, you get beat. So we got beat, and they've got to learn that. Otherwise, they won't get picked. Do you want your senior players to step up more? Senior boys, listen, it's, it's not about effort. It's not about attitude. It's not about application. It's Working about from there. not defending set pieces today. Simple as. With Dan Jones and the team and Nathan Smith, you'd expect you to do better with your ability. Listen, the they've all got the jobs. I'm not going to name names, Phil. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not going to name names. Uh, we, we'll review it. I know who's been as at fault, and they have to react. They have to learn from that because you've got to mark your man in the box for second and third phases, and you've got to win first contacts. We didn't do enough of that in our own box today against a team that's on a bit of a cloud. Uh, you know, a bit of high, five now, six games on the spin. We've got to get back to being our uh, ugly self in, in situations where we need to be, and we didn't do that today. What's changed in a month from where you were, you know, you were up there, you won at Forest Green, and then you're in this run now? What's quite, changed? Quite simple, Phil. It's, uh, it's football, mate. That's what it is. It's football. We're League One, we're in a division higher. We're carrying one or two injuries of experienced players that are coming back. We're getting minutes into lads coming back. We don't want other players breaking down. So there's all, all sorts of reasons that go into it for a month. So listen, but football management, spark managing, a bit of adversity. We uh, we keep going, keep building. We've got another game Tuesday night and we'll go again. People would have maybe expected Matty Taylor to be on the bench today, given what you said the other day, but can you say where he is and yeah, where he's up no, to? Yeah, I can, yeah. He's doing very well. He uh, had a really good positive session yesterday. He wasn't quite ready for today. We're open Tuesday night, so I'm, I'm led by my medical team, which is superb. We always knew it was going to be the case with Matty Taylor that we'll miss two, three games, but we're, we're late in the day and deadline day. It'll be a great position for us when he's, when he's back and when he's fit. He'll only be playing when he's fit.